Good morning, Britain. Breaking news, an 11-year-old boy is critically ill in hospital after he was struck by a police van while crossing the road. Lancashire Police said officers were responding to an emergency call yesterday evening when the collision occurred. Police say they're not treating a security scare in central London as terror-related following the arrest of a man after a car crashed into the gates at Downing Street. Find out why the rapper Professor Green credits his nanny Pat as the reason he's joined forces with the Princess of Wales. We'll be speaking to him after eight o'clock. You're going to need a very large red, red wine when I've finished with you. She's known for crushing dreams at tea time on a daily basis. The Chase's brain box, Jenny Ryan, tells us why she's celebrating redheads, taking Edinburgh storm. Looking forward to Christmas already. She was a powerhouse both on and off the stage. Three degrees, Sheila Ferguson reflects on Tina Turner's extraordinary career. Warmth and sunshine is the name of the game. And if you are heading to the seaside this weekend, I'll have all the details for you of that and more coming up on Good Morning Britain. Friday, 26th of May, 2023, live from Television Centre in London. This is Good Morning Britain with Ben Shepherd and Charlotte Hawkins. Hello there, good morning to you. Happy Friday. And I have to say, you had a bit of a special day in your household yeah. yesterday, didn't you? A little bit blurry eyed in the a Shepherd household. Uh, it was Sam's 18th birthday oh, yesterday. Oh, happy um, birthday, Sam. Look at that. So I posted this. He looks picture. a little bit older now, doesn't he? he? Well, he was only about as big as the letterbox. You can't oh. get in the door now. That was his last day of school. If you've got kids that are doing their A levels, you'll have gone through this a couple of weeks ago when he had his last full day of school, which was quite a moment anyway, but actually. He's May, end of May is quite late for um, uh, an 18th birthday. So he's been watching all his friends have their 18th birthday. So he was so excited. And it's just that moment, isn't it, where you sort of go, crack, I've got an adult in the house. You feel old. Really old. Yeah, yeah, really old. You've, but Sean's got a couple older than mine. I've got, yeah, two adults now in the house. It they, is a They never leave. <laughs> 25 and, and 20 now, yeah. It was so one of those things. We went out for dinner and obviously I was up early. So I, I said, right, you can go and meet your friends and have a drink. And he stumbled in at about midnight with all his mates came in, and I'm downstairs going, "Is this what life's going to be like?" <laughs> what eighteen-year-olds are like, <laughs> exactly. But you know, it was—it's uh, quite a moment, and he's—he's uh, he's done us very proud, to be fair. Aww. In the middle of their A levels as well, so I understand anyone. We've got GCSEs with with Jack as well. Anyone going through that? It's pr it's a really really stressful full on time. There's a lot going on, isn't it? But they're it? about to hit half term, Charlotte, and that's big news. Yes, because lots of people are going to be going away for half term, mm. aren't they? Because we've got the bank holiday on Monday, and in fact, it's record numbers. Not since since pre-pandemic have yeah. this number of people gone away. 3,000 flights today, apparently, for the big getaway uh, for those lucky enough to be going abroad. And one of the questions we're asking this morning is, because, of course, with lots of people on flights, it does get busy, lots of excitable children. Is it time for children-free zones? I could have done with one last night. Oh, he's an adult now, so I can't <laughs> get rid of it. When you can't get any sleep. <laughs> yeah, exactly, he's And they won't stop shouting and making a racket. <laughs> yes, yeah. I feel that pain. I'm not sure you could have a child-free zone in your own house. Would you have child-free... So what, you, what the suggestion is, is, should there be child-free zones on aeroplanes? On aeroplanes and on trains. On trains I mean, they have quiet zones already, don't they, on trains? Any sort of public transport that involves longer-distance journeys. For those people who choose it. Or do you just have to accept, you know, this is what children do, and if you want to sort of get that mode of transport, then you have to be, you know, used to having children who are maybe not quite as good Is at it the children quiet. who are in the wrong or the parents? Exactly. That's the question. Uh, we're going to be question. debating that a little bit later. I'd love to get to know your thoughts. As Charlotte said, 3,000 flights taking off today. So many of you, I'm sure, will be planning a, a getaway over the next week, over the weekend or over the following week. Is that what you yearn for on a long trip, having no children around you? Or do you think it's an important part of the holiday? I love being on planes. I mean, yeah, we've all been all through so it. And we've had little we have. ones. And you panic so much when you're on a plane. Ella Rose at a certain age, who was stealing cutlery from the person behind me. And I didn't <laughs> realise until all this cutlery started appearing. So I was very apologetic about that. So sometimes, oh, yeah. even with the best will, these things happen. Sticky fingers. But and also you panic, you worry, don't you, that you're going to upset people if the baby's crying or struggling, all those sorts of things. I think lots of people have been through it and it's 
it's fine. But it's, it's when the behaviour sort of gets a little bit out of hand yes. and the parents don't seem to be trying to control it. I think that's what gets upsetting, doesn't it, for certain passengers. Yeah. But let us know your thoughts this morning. Do get in touch and we'll be speaking about it later. Uh, but it is uh, breaking news that we're talking about this morning because an 11-year-old boy is critically ill in hospital after being hit by a police van while crossing a road in Lancaster. Officers were responding to an emergency call when the collision happened. Lancashire police have referred themselves to the police watchdog and say their thoughts are with the child's loved ones. Juliet Dunlop is at the scene for us this morning. Morning, Juliet. So, uh, seems like a, an absolutely devastating story, this one. Talk us through what happened.